Hi, I'm Dr. Louise Cheney and I'm here today at the University of New Hampshire where we're going to visit the Consolidated Advanced Technologies Laboratory and learn about Project 54, a voice operated system designed to help control devices within a police vehicle. Sound interesting? Let's go take a look. A standard police vehicle is equipped with multiple devices such as radar, lights, siren and radio each device coming with its own set of controls. This makes the cockpit cluttered and confusing to use while driving. The Project 54 system is designed to eliminate these multiple control devices and replace them with a single central system using a touch screen with large clear buttons that are easy to use while driving. But even better is the ability of Project 54 to use voice commands to activate the devices. This enables the police officer to keep their hands on their wheel and the eyes on the road while driving. To demonstrate how Project 54 works in a police vehicle, I'm going to turn the lights on using my voice. All I need to do is hold down this button, code 3, and the lights go on. You turn them off, lights off. Project 54 uses speech recognition software to control the voice activation system. The accuracy of the software is improved in three ways. First of all, a unidirectional microphone is used to filter out sound from the surrounding area. Secondly, the system only listens for a command when this push to talk button is held down. And finally, the system uses a grammar which is a, pre a precise set of rules that defines the voice commands that are recognized by the system. Project 54 can also access a records database. For example, if we see a possible stolen vehicle on the road, we can query its license number. License number. License number. 163456. 163456. Check records. Check records. Query submitted. New query result received. Possible NCIC wanted person. Vehicle registration check results. Plate number 163456. Let's go get him. Lights and siren. Lights and siren. Project 54 is tested here in the lab using this driving simulator. The simulator consists of the front cabin of the Ford Focus, a motion platform underneath, and this 180 degree computer screen. The steering wheel contains force feedback to, sim to make the driving experience as realistic as possible. The research team here are investigating the effect of performing distracting tasks while driving. They collect data about the position and movement of the steering wheel, your position within the lane and the simulation, and the change in the velocity of the vehicle. And I use this data to quantify how your driving ability decreases while performing tasks such as using equipment within the car. Okay, let's take it for a drive. Wow, this feels really realistic. I'm always scared to drive fast, but let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to try a couple of tasks using the control panel. I'm going to try and turn on the siren. Let's see how my driving suffers. Oops. I can see I swerved a little bit. Let's try the same thing using the voice activated system. Siren. Siren on. Siren off. Siren Looks like the voice activated system helped me drive much better. To learn more about how Project 54 has helped police officers in their jobs, I'm meeting today with Officer Chet Merch of the Lee, New Hampshire Police Department. Thanks for meeting us with us today. Sure, no problem. Uh, first, let me ask you, how long have you been using the Project 54 system? We were actually the, the third agency in the state of New Hampshire to use it. We've been using it for approximately six years, actually. And do you think it helps uh, improve driving safety while on the job? Oh, absolutely. The, the new um, system that we have that we're beta testing for CAR 54 allows them to run plates, license plates, as they're driving down the road. They don't have to take their hands off the wheels to go ahead and run a plate that's in front of them or the um, license of the operator who owns the vehicle. The other thing that it allows them to do is to keep their hands on the wheel during the pursuit and they can use lights and sirens on and off um, just by voice activation. Thank you for your time today. We certainly appreciate it and we appreciate the good work that you do. Sure, no Thanks. problem. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed learning about Project 54. If you'd like more information, 
you can visit their website at www.project54.unh.edu. Thank you and goodbye.